That moment right before you take off is everything to me. Standing up top, looking at that jump, staring it down and realizing that you're about to ski into a 4.1 meter tall jump at 68 kilometers per hour and you can't let fear get in the way. You have to do everything in your power to put fear aside and overcome whatever it is that's holding you back at that time. Aerials is a sport that, um, if you're not scared, I think you're a little bit crazy. <laughs> We're actually in the air for about three seconds. During those three seconds, you're not thinking about any other problems in your life. You can literally only focus on what's happening in the moment. And that's what I live for. I was first diagnosed with type 1 bipolar disorder in 2014. It was after the Olympic Games, after I had done a lot of traveling, and I was trying to get back into training, but I was falling into a bit of a depression, if you will. It wasn't the first time in my life that I experienced something like that. I've been experiencing symptoms of bipolar disorder and depression for many, many years. Bipolar isn't something that happens from a day-to-day -day basis. It's uh, usually about three-week periods where you go through these ups and lows. And oftentimes after a manic episode, I will personally experience um, a depressive episode. And those come with very dark um, thoughts that kind of take over um, your life. And the struggle is very real. It's not fun. I was a little bit devastated to have um, a labeling of mental health disorder. Bipolar disorder is something that now I don't let control or define me. But at the time, it was definitely something that had taken control of my life in a way, and, and I let it do so. Um, I let it beat me up. I let it um, kind of define who I was for a long time, and I'm ready to make a change in my life. Through acceptance, through therapy, through medication, there's so many avenues that I've been able to seek out that help with me coming to terms with the fact that I am bipolar. I think by coming out and sharing my story is an opportunity for me to help inspire others to seek the help that they need or um, just to follow their dreams and goals. It's not letting mental illness or whatever it may be holding you back. The National Sport Federation has definitely provided me with uh, amazing tools like a sports psychologist that I've had for the last 13 years to enable me to find success both on and off the slopes. They take a, a big life approach to both uh, my athletic career and my life as, um, as a normal person as well. And this ties together into creating um, both a person and an athlete that's ready to face his fears and allows me to reach great heights. <laughs>